think it's beautiful. I love seeing all the wildlife that's out here. And I love hearing the sound of the birds. Oh, the pink one. And this is one of the best ways to get in tune with yourself, with nature, quiet your mind, quiet your spirit. I, I truly feel that we're slowly snail pace getting to understand the importance of mental health. We, we just assume it's something that people are just going to be able to get over things. I've had some things happen to me recently that realizes, no, it doesn't just go away. We have to deal with it. We have too many soldiers, veterans, that die every day at their own hand because their mental health hasn't been dealt with. It needs to be dealt with. I served 26 years in the United States Air Force, and I've seen the challenges that come from years and years of folks being under stress under combat situations. We have to do something because in many cases, and especially for the military, it's tough to admit that you need help. And so what we have to do is we have to remove the stigma from folks so that they don't feel embarrassed. And we do know, it's documented, that actually gathering together, doing crafts, things like that are actually really good for us spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Tonight is a craft night. I know it's a birdhouse, but you know, I am not craftsy. I tried to point that out to Cindy when she invited me. <laughs> These are all cancer survivors. All the things that ramble in your head, like you realize you're coming here, you're not the only one. So if you ever want to do anything um, or you have questions, it's like you're kind of not by yourself anymore. Mental health, okay. For me, it's knowing that all these thoughts and things that you have in your head and these struggles that you have, like other people are going through the same things. I need like a yellow. I need a yellow. You, know, you always gotta think about everything will be okay. You know, you have that support team, you have that family, you know, everything will, will, will get better. Your spirit and your soul and working hard sometimes to make that all in balance and to, you know, it's just as important as the physical. The way that I have framed my experience with the gym is that it is something that brings me joy. I think that there's a lot of people who think that if you're going to go to the gym for mental health, you have to do X, Y, and Z. And the reality is, is that you don't. You have to do something that brings you joy to want to continue to do it. Especially for men, I think a lot of us are, are afraid to be open, afraid to be honest um, and vulnerable. Uh, you know, it's, it's weird because like one, we, we want to be tough guys. You know, we, we don't want to talk about and open up to other people and let them know that we're hurting and going through things, even though we all do that. We all hurt and go through things. I think that's why things are the way they are. Like, you know, we don't, we're not honest enough with each other. So mental health to me is caring for your mind caring for yourself. I come here, it's a stress reliever. It allows us to get with our friends who we've become very close to, but it's also a way to positively work out that aggression that we might have throughout the work week or personal lives, whatever it might be. Coming here absolutely helps me, man. Um, having this community, these people that show up here to support you week in and week out, they just wanna see you succeed, everybody's rooting for you. I mean, whatever it might be, bowling. You know, I know some people who are on a bowling team. It's you, a ball, and pins. I, I think it's definitely something that isn't talked about enough. I, I think it should be discussed a little less. Um, for example, my child just went to, he just went into high school, so when we went for our annual physical, it was the first, 10 minutes of the session was, do you feel sad? Do you feel like you belong? Do you feel like, and I, you know, he's a positive kid. He doesn't think that way, you know? And it's like, why are they asking me these weird questions, you know? I would say we need 
more therapists and less drugs being pushed to people to, to deal with their mental conditions? Well, taking care of myself, I do it physically, not mentally. Like mentally, I'm, I'm always happy. I'm not a stressed person. I would have liked to have gotten over there. That would have been all the pink birds. <laughs> Let's deal with mental health and accept there is something we need to do and make it better. People need to know it's real. It's real. And if we keep sticking our head in the, in the sand, we don't get it better.